dreaming boy. What would your life be like if you couldn't move your hands and feet? Have you ever imagined that? You would think, how would I eat or go to school? In Korea, there is a person disabled by severe cerebral palsy and can't move his hands and feet. But he proudly listed his name on the Guinness World Records for traveling 28,000 kilometers across Europe. It is Chang Hyun Choi. Some people call him the Forrest Gump of Korea. Aren't you curious about his childhood? It was one day at dawn in January 1966. Oh dear, the baby's face is blue and isn't crying. What should we do? There is another baby! Then, the baby lying at the corner of the room let out a weak cry. Oh, thank goodness, he's alive. Unlike the younger one who grew happily with a loud cry, Chang Hyun couldn't lie on his belly or crawl by himself. Chang Hyun, there is a really famous doctor who can help you. Let's go visit, shall we? Chang Hyun's mother carried him piggyback and took him to every doctor who was said to be good. But Chang Hyun didn't get any better. <laughs> Chang Hyun, let's try walking. Just one step. Chang Hyun's mother couldn't give up her son's walking, so she made him practice walking every day. That cost him many rubber shoes. Thanks to his mother's effort, Chang Hyun could move his legs a bit lying down. But he never got to walk on his two feet. Chang Hyun, what are you doing? Let's see. Mommy, let me just finish folding this one. Chang Hyun couldn't move his body the way he wanted it, but he was a very curious boy. Oh my. You like origami that much, huh? Yes! <laughs> Instead of using hands like other kids, <gasps> Chang Hyun used his mouth to play games, including <laughs> marble games, odds and evens, and so evens! on. Evens! I won! <laughs> Mommy, could you bring down batteries and clips my brother brought from school? What do you need those for? I want to do an experiment like him. Wow, it's so cool! Will my tongue work too? <laughs> Ouch! <gasps> What's wrong? I'm What's dying! Going on? Doing everything by his mouth rather than hand, he often hurt his tongue and bled. But young Chang Hyun dissembled a clock with a driver in his mouth mimicked writing on a paper, and never stopped dreaming. Chang Hyun, could you stop now? No, I want to finish this! Young Chang Hyun was stubborn when it came to what he decided to do. No matter how much his mother persuaded him, it didn't stop him. I will see you later! When Chang Hyun's brother was entering middle school, it was hard to make ends meet. So Chang Yan's mother went off to work in the country for a week. During that time, Grandma looked after the kids. Hmm, Chang Yan can't even hold a spoon to feed himself. What could he possibly do for a living? Oh, why would Grandma say that? There's nothing wrong with me. Superman! Yeah. Chang Hyun wanted to prove his grandma wrong. He couldn't move his body freely, but he imagined himself to be Superman to fight off villains and helping people in need. It was when Chang Hyun was 19. Chang Hyun, your big brother will be bringing his fiance home today. You should be quiet and still, okay? Uh, okay. A few days later, 
the fiance's mother came to visit. I can't send my dear daughter to a family with a disabled member. Contrary to Grandma's hope, Changhyun's big brother's engagement broke off, and Changhyun felt very distressed that he's being a burden to his family. My big brother's engagement broke off because of me. And what if the same happens to my little brother? What? Mom, I will go to a care facility like other disabled people. What will happen to Changhyun, who decided to go a care facility, not wanting to be a burden to his family?